Welcome to a quick demonstration on the Financial Statement Template Reporting Module for OpenERP. You can find our full documentation from the Publicus website at www.publicus-solutions.com forward slash blog. And you can download this module from Launchpad, launchpad.net forward slash account hyphen FSTR. So this module is used to create templates that format the output of financial statement reports. So let me quickly explain what this means. If we have a look at the legal reports and accounting reports here from OpenERP out of the box installation, you have a profit and loss balance sheet included with the system. However, if we take a look at the printout, uh, it isn't particularly nicely formatted, especially for a UK based company. Here we have our sales uh, accounts on the right hand side, um, uh, cost of sales uh, accounts on the left hand side, and expense accounts on the left hand side. It really isn't a suitable format at all. So what we thought would be a nice idea would be to create a module that allows the user to set up a template using categories and that will allow for the printing of financial statement report that looks the way that user or that business wants to organize their information. So here's a small example of a report we will generate which is using the exact same accounts as we just saw with the out-of-the-box but it's formatted more like accounting software uh, normally would, would produce. We have our sales, our purchases, gross profit, sales minus purchases, and our direct expenses, overheads, and a net profit figure. So how do we create this type of report? It's very simple. We just create categories uh, for each of the account groupings and I can show you how this works here. So when you create a category you have a couple of main fields, the first being the title name so we'll create a category for the sales accounts and each category uh, name also has an end name if you want to display a total you can tick on this box here and bold italic underline etc quickly select our company and you look at the type down here we have three different types normal view and root a normal type is a category that will contain accounts just like this one. The root would be the uh, final root node of the report something like profit and loss or balance sheet we will define that shortly later and a view type is for um, a category that will not contain any accounts but it will form sort of a, a container for other uh, categories for the purpose of calculating totals and subtotals and whatnot. So we have a normal type here so we can select some accounts and you'll notice we have the UK chart installed on this uh, system and it already has a grouping uh, and hierarchy set up for the various accounts in the chart of account structure so I can see my sales purchases and other main categories that are already set up in the chart so I can just select the top level node there and it'll add all the accounts I need so let's have a look at the output very simple so far just the sales category but uh, it's the start of the report so if we had our cost of sales or our purchases and another set of accounts we'll set this up like this And choosing my company, you could have different uh, reports for different companies if you have a multi-company situation. At the moment we'll leave the parent node blank, we'll get to that in a sec. And I'll select my purchase accounts, like so. I have a quick look at the output of the purchase category, uh, which is exactly what we would expect. So in order to have a a line in your report showing the gross profit we need to collect, uh, create a sort of container category we'll call this gross profit category 
and the relevant uh, heading is actually the ending which you'll see shortly in a second which we will just call gross profit as you'd want to see in your report so we save that we need to change the type to view because there will be no account selected for this particular category and categories like this are for creating subtotals are top level or parent categories for other categories so if I go into sales and I select the parent category as gross profit effectively that's the container I want it to appear in sales minus purchases now I can have a look at what this category looks like when we print it out and you'll see since the parent node of sales and purchases is gross profit we can see those categories also when we print the gross profit category so it starts with the gross profit category heading which is not meaningful in our report so we'll remove that but the gross profit at the end shows the total sales minus the purchases which is what we want so remove the uh, display for the heading there's no point in seeing that so now we have our sales and purchases and gross profit so we are creating a profit and loss report so we'll start off with that category next um, and we can leave out the title it's not meaningful but leave an ending for the net profit and this is going to be our root category so there's no need to select any accounts so going back to our list of categories gross profit is the only um, category lacking a parent node so we'll set that to our root node now the profit and loss and we can have a look at the output having selected profit loss as our root category so here we can see now we have our sales our purchases and a gross profit and net profit ending the title of the report is now also showing the title of our category so that is showing up correctly so we have two more groupings in the profit and loss for this particular chart of accounts one of them is called direct expenses so we'll add those in and the parent node for the direct expenses should be the profit and loss because the gross profit category is taking care of sales and purchases and we need direct expenses underneath the actual profit and loss category so quickly select my accounts save that and one last final category for our overheads Again, we'll choose the profit and loss as the root or parent and select our overhead accounts from our chart. So we have a look at the uh, profit and loss printout. This is the wizard that comes with the report, selecting your various periods. With the uh, new structure, our profit and loss is starting to take shape. We have our sales. Uh, we have our purchases, we have a gross profit, we have a direct expenses, our overheads, and the difference between the gross profit and those various other expenses comes to our net profit. You might have seen in the wizard we have a tick box here to hide accounts with zero balance, which we'll make use of now since there's so many accounts with no uh, figures and have a quick look at the same output so things are a bit cramped at the moment gross profit sort of uh, is mashed in between the purchases and direct expenses so there is a way to provide a bit of breathing room 
in the spacing uh, section you can indent each category the, uh, however much you want and you can add some space above the category and below the category name title and the ending name or total so here the gross profit total we can capitalize that and add some space in between to make it even more uh, clear in our report that the gross profit is sort of a separate calculation so now we have a little bit more space it's slightly uh, more readable there similarly with our net profit which is the end name of our gross profit category we can add a little space at the end there and maybe put that in italics to help readability so that's been the demonstration of this uh, module hopefully you find it useful and if you have any questions check out the blog or email us at support at publicus-solutions.com. Thanks for listening.